Hi everybody, welcome to part 2 of our Session Guitarist tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you everything you need to know about the AutoChords module and the voicing generator. We'll also show you how to play your own voicings if you prefer to work without preset voicings or chords. All strumming and arpeggio patterns come with a set of five different voicings, or you can play your own voicings instead. Riffs, on the other hand, are pre-recorded melodic lines. You can't change their voicing, but they can be chromatically adapted to the keys you're playing on the keyboard. For example, you can change a riff from D minor to D major by playing a major third on the keyboard. Adding a C sharp will change the minor 7 to a major 7. For the regular strumming and arpeggio patterns, you can play voicings in three different modes. To play your own voicings, choose as played for the current pattern. To deactivate the preset voicings for all patterns at once, you can select off. The second mode is auto chords module off and voicing generator on. This lets you play simple chords on your keyboard and the preset voicings react to the chords played. In the third mode, chords are generated by the auto chords module. Turning on the auto chords module will always activate the voicing generator as well. If you'd like to get the session files of our tutorials, we're currently setting up a free download section on our website recordingtutorials.com. Now let's have a look at how the three voicing modes work in detail. If both auto chords and the voicing generator are turned off, the pattern playback will reflect exactly the notes you're playing. That way you can play any voicing you like. Listen to several variants of a C major chord, all played back using the same pattern. Some picking patterns change the rhythm depending on the number of notes played in a chord. Let's look at the second scenario. Auto chords is still off, but now we're selecting one of the five preset voicings that come with each pattern. When playing a single note on the keyboard, the voicing generator interprets it as a typical guitar voicing. Depending on the default chord type of the voicing preset, you'll hear either a major or a minor chord. By playing a major or minor third interval, you force the engine to convert the voicing accordingly. If other options like sevenths or ninths are present in a voicing preset, they will be adapted in the same way. If options are not present in a voicing, you can still add them in. Options are not necessarily played in the very range you press them, but in the range where the corresponding note was placed in the original voicing preset. A typical example are open voicings that contain tenths, which sound one octave above the third. For those voicings, playing major and minor thirds will lead to major and minor tenths. Of course, we could recreate any of the preset voicings manually by deactivating the voicing generator and playing the notes on the keyboard. Now let's look at the third scenario. 
By enabling the auto chords mode, the voicing generator will automatically be enabled as well. In this mode, you can choose the key of your song via the two drop-down menus on the left. The typical chords of that key are then mapped to the white keys in such a way that the C on your keyboard always represents the tonic of the selected key. In auto chords mode, playing regular chords or intervals on your keyboard won't work anymore. Instead, you can trigger one scale degree at a time using the white keys. The black keys act as modifiers where you can add options or suspensions. If a voicing contains options with asterisks, the pitch of their corresponding notes is defined relative to the key of your song and not relative to the chord you're playing on the keyboard. In other words, you'll always hear the same note no matter which chords you're playing. In classical music theory, this is called an organ point. In our example, a fifth with an asterisk in the key of E flat major will always be the note B flat no matter which chord you're playing. Again, you could also play the resulting chord progression manually with the voicing generator and auto chords module turned off. Here's how you can create musical sounding chord progressions without auto chords and the voicing presets. Let's start with the chord progression in close position. If we select all the thirds and shift them up an octave, we'll turn them into tenths. This will change the close position into an open position. Replacing the tenths with organ points creates interesting options. To spice up the second half, let's replace the fourth interval with the minor second between the tenth and the eleventh. We'll also change the bass note of the G major chord from G to B to create an inverted chord. In lead sheets, this would be written as G over B. If you'd like to get the session files of our tutorials, we're currently setting up a free download section on our website. Register on recordingtutorials.com and we'll keep you updated about upcoming free content and more music production tutorials. We're also working on an extensive workshop where we'll teach you everything we've learned in over 20 years of writing, recording, mixing and mastering music, shooting music videos and recording music festivals, building recording studios and developing sample libraries that are used by music producers and artists around the world. Register for free on recordingtutorials.com and you'll be the first to know when the workshop becomes available.